So you guys, you guys, I was at the 7-Eleven and I saw they were selling the home pregnancy test right next to the cash register. Now I'm sorry, when did home pregnancy tests become an impulse buy? <laughs> Are they, are, are they really something you grab as an afterthought? Does anyone see them there and go, oh, that reminds me. I'm seven months late. I guess now is the time to pick up a home pregnancy test and a bottle of Jaeger. But here's the really weird part, and I swear to God this happened. They were selling them two for the price of one. Yeah, so now you can plan ahead for the next time you don't plan ahead. Or, or you can use them as stocking stuffers. It, it's a great way to send little Susie a message. Even Santa thinks you're a whore. So I bought a home pregnancy test. And I, 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 I picked up one of those five hour energies. Like, you know, some people say that five hour energy is bad for you, but I think it's awesome. I'm wide awake, there's no crash ever, and when it's peaking, I like to choke myself to string it out. Mm, middle class crack. On the way here, I, on the radio, I heard an ad for a company called Christian Credit Counselors. Uh, that's not the joke. That's not the, they, they say, just hear them out. They say they get you out of debt using the principles of the Holy Bible. <laughs> now, it's, it's a nice idea until you try to trade your daughter for next month's car payment. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Women depreciate faster than SUVs. Oh, hey, I can say that, all right, I'm getting divorced. My Kelly Blue Book values in the crapper. <laughs> I'm like a Yugo with daddy issues. <laughs> I, I'm an anxious person, you know? Like, like, I've always been anxious, way OCD. When I was a kid, I was scared to watch the never-ending story. <laughs> because I didn't think it would end. <laughs> I was, I was like, hurry it up, Falcor! I gotta wash my hands! OCD. OCD people love that joke. That's how you know. Last time I told it, someone shouted from the back, ADD people like it too! And I said, great! Hope you can pay attention to this next joke! I... I think of the darkest, most depressing things. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. The other day I was thinking, like, I'm not suicidal at all, but I am spiteful. So if I were gonna kill myself, I'd do it at someone else's house. <laughs> right, that's revenge, right? <laughs> that's like saying, oh, did you have plans today? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I read in the news about a comedian at an open mic who got up on stage and then stabbed himself to death. Oh, yeah, I know, I felt really bad for that guy's family, but not nearly as bad as I felt for whoever had to follow his act. <laughs> that is brutal. I don't know why I think of these things, it's horrible. It makes me tense. I used to be so tense, I couldn't even enjoy myself during sex. Yeah, I know, like, it's better now, and I'm not proud to say it, but there was a time you might as well have been banging a paraplegic. <laughs> like, not that there's anything wrong with that, you know. I'm not trying to block the handicapped here. I'm just, just saying. But it used to be pretty grim. I was like a blow-up doll. Worse, a blow-up doll that could say no. <laughs> and then 
then after we did it, you had to hold me while I cried. <laughs> and then drive me home. <laughs> you know, I think my problem is, like, I grew up thinking sex was something to be ashamed of. And I blame the public school system. Yeah, the only thing I learned there was that sex will get you pregnant or diseased and boys won't like you unless you do it. I still have the paper mache rape whistle I made in health class. <laughs> you, you can basically sum up American sex education like this. Cooties are real. Wear a condom. Cooties? Why does that childhood superstition have to be the real one? Like, what about Santa Claus? Can't we reopen the file on him? No, because Santa doesn't exist. But she probably got cooties from sitting in his lap. <laughs> so yeah, I learned that sex is creepy and it's gross. You know, so no wonder I had problems because I didn't know how to ask for what I wanted. But sex is like Pandora radio. If you don't say what you like, you end up listening to frickin' Coldplay. <laughs> and that is awful. It's the musical equivalent of wondering if it's in yet. Mmm, <laughs> yellow. Yeah. I, I, I did that joke at an all-ages show, and uh, afterward, this woman storms up to me, and she said, I don't appreciate you talking about that filth in front of my daughter. She's only 10 years old. And I said, lady, no offense, but it's nothing she hasn't heard before. Even 10-year-olds hate cold play. <laughs> oh, people freak out for no reason, you know? I think everyone, everyone just gotta loosen up. Yeah, yeah just like, just look at the whole gay issue, you know? Like, like some parents get upset because they think if gay people are accepted, kids are gonna get exposed to fairy tales about princes banging princes. You know, yeah, which first of all is ridiculous. I haven't seen any trailers for The Lion Queen. <laughs> Fangasia. <laughs> Beast and the Beast. <laughs> or Pinocchio 2, Geppetto finds a real boy. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm Kate Gary. Thank you.